So far this earnings season, we've heard some encouraging things from the big money center banks, but there's one major fly in the ointment. Consumer lending has been a little tepid. And this becomes all the more obvious when you look at the smaller regional banks that are far more levered to the business of actually making loans. We saw this on PNC on Friday. Wow, really hammered. And we saw it again yesterday when First Horizon National, a Tennessee-based regional bank with more than 350 locations across the southeast, reported what many thought was a mixed quarter. While the company delivered a modest earnings beat, its revenues came in a tad light, and the all-important net interest margin, what they make off the difference between the interest they pay on your deposits and the interest they collect on your loans, was also weaker than expected. Now, if consumer lending is slowing down, either because there's something wrong with the economy or because non-bank lenders are taking more and more market share, this stock, well, it's going to be for sale. Last year, First Horizon doubled down on this business when it acquired Capital Bank for $2.2 billion. What happened? Stock got slammed yesterday. It lost 2.5% as the rest of the market roared higher. And while it bounced today, it's barely made back those losses. we got to figure out what's going on here. This is one of my favorite banks. So let's check in with Brian Jordan. He's the chairman, president, and CEO of First Horizon National. We'll learn more about the quarter and the company's prospects. Mr. Jordan, welcome back to Mad Money. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me back. All right, Brian, when I saw your quarter, I said to myself, now, why is the Fed so convinced that it needs to uh, do a December hike and three more hikes in 2019? And if they talk to Brian Jordan about what that might, de- might mean to the really terrific growth of your region. Yeah, the economy is growing well. I think it's, it's a sign that the economy continues to be healthy. I think you see a a tremendous amount of confidence in both consumers and business, small business in particular. I think the economy continues to grow at a pretty healthy rate. And whether the Fed raises or not, I think we're getting closer to the end of that cycle. But I I believe, like you, the market indicates it's fully priced in. I think it's priced in, and I think we're likely to get another move. But I, I don't think it's had a big impact on customer confidence, customer sentiment, or really business activity at this point in a negative sense. Okay, uh, how come you weren't able to make more money on your net uh, interest margin? Because you guys have been one of the most consistent banks that I follow. Right, right. Our net interest income continued to, to be strong. We had a couple of anomalies that really related to risk positioning. We sold a couple of portfolios or assets that we acquired in the merger and, and really reduced the risk and, and the yield in the loan portfolio. Overall, though, we saw continued rise in interest rates. We're asset sensitive. We benefit from when the Fed raises rates. We did see rates go up in late June, and we saw that flow through the margin. It was a little bit less than it had been in previous quarters because LIBOR didn't move as rapidly. Right. We also saw deposits grow, go up. They went up at a slightly slower rate. So in, in the underlying net interest margin, we did continue to get improvement, and we see uh, that outlook for the remainder of this year and into 2000 next year that will continue to be- benefit from rising rates. But there were a couple times in the call where you talked about uh, pricing wh- to the point where we've decided that we can't be competitive at certain levels. And you uh, talk about non-bank competition. This has been a continual theme this quarter, Brian. Who is this non-bank competition, and why are they making such little margin? Because that's going to come back and haunt them. Yes, it's a, it is a consistent theme. I've heard that or read that in other financial institutions and bankers in their comments. It is an environment where interest rates on an absolute level are still very, very low, and there's still a lot of individuals and investors, institutions, and otherwise looking for yield. And it's putting uh, pressure on the, the marketplace. And I did comment we do see more pressure on pricing and to some extent on structure, people putting uh, covenant light transactions in place. All that said, though, I think it's still a healthy lending market. And, and my sense is, is, particularly late in the third quarter, that loan demand started to actually pick up a little bit. And so having a good supply, having more demand will be good. And that hopefully will stabilize some of the margin, excuse me, the, the yield pressure that we saw in the third quarter. All right, one last question. Uh, mortgage rates now at 5%. You have had in your area, particularly Nashville, maybe among the hottest uh, housing markets because of taxes, but also because it had not been expensive. Will 5% cool Nashville? I think it's had some impact. In, in our, we have a very big mortgage warehouse lending business, and we also have a mortgage origination business. So higher rates have had an impact. 
it hasn't had as much impact on the purchase money mortgages as it has on the refinance activity. Refinances are below historical averages or, or norms. So that piece has slowed significantly. Uh, purchase activity continues to, to still be okay, but it does seem to be getting impacted from rate increases. And to the extent that the 10-year continues to move up, I would expect that housing sales housing transactions would co continue to come under pressure simply wow. because of the underlying mortgage rates. Understood. Thank you so much for a very inexpensive stock you're giving us right now. Brian Jordan, Chairman, President, CEO of First Horizon. I can't believe how much this stock fell. It really shouldn't have been. It's a good situation. Stick with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.